Hey everybody, this is Mike with Absorb Self Reliant. I'm excited. I got a package in the mail. Don't get them often, but when I do, I'm ecstatic. <laughs> no. Check this thing out. This came from Charlie Tango One. Um, I stumbled across his channel. He actually had commented on one of my videos. I went back and I checked out his videos. And this gentleman is awesome with his leather craft. If any of you guys are out there looking for some bush crafty like um, sporans and things like that or some side pouches for your kits and things like that or just probably anything you just have to contact him. I'm not sure what all that he does make and what he's willing to you know go out and make but he makes good videos. He's very entertaining. Um, he's from uh, England but it is Canter Canterbury or Cantonbury, something like that in England. That shows you how much I pay attention to smaller details. Uh, but let's get this package here opened up. Um, I know what is supposed to be in it, and I'm hoping that's what's in it. Um, and if not, we'll take whatever we can get because we ain't beggars. Let's open her up and see what we can get. Feel the excitement. Make sure there ain't nothing underneath the bottom. He said when he was getting ready to mail it, he didn't know what he was going to mail it in because he didn't have any boxes. Well, I see you jumped up and got something. Um, Canterbury. That is where he is from. All right, you guys ready? Oops. Whoops. Oh, good. I got to block you off now for a second. Well, I'll be dying. <laughs> Respoke Leatherwork. Ray Townsend. Awesome. That was another thing. Um, pheasant game holders i'd never seen one before shows you how much i know about pheasant hunting but he had made some and i had to i figured it out when i looked at it what the contraption would be but there's this get me a card i'll call the old chap up one day first off we got a bag wow avon's across the world uh oh, another bag. Cool. I'm not sure what that one is. Those I don't get out often, but I know what they were just in there for shipping purposes, guys. <laughs> and oh, I can tell already. You guys interested in taking a peek at some bubble wrap? Here's one of the awesome pieces that I've been looking for. It's actually got here pretty quick, uh, about nine, ten days. Um, had to go sign for it. She had ran while I had left and went to the store for just a minute. I had to go chase the mail lady down because when I seen where it was from, I thought, no, 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 we ain't waiting two more days for you to get back. Oh, man. Smell the leather. Whoops. Sorry, guys. Take a little time to get it adjusted. I don't know if you guys can see all this or not. It's quite. There we go. It's going to take some adjustment and some workage. It's not really pulling that hard, but I don't want to pull that hard until I know for sure. Check out that comes with a dangler. It's got a belt latch as well right here. I think I re he had just mentioned that he was going wider with that, but I'll be honest with you, I'm 
into the dangler thing now more um, after I've actually used one. It's got the two cross axes on it. Now I finally have me a fire kit that I can put my stuff in. And actually look like a woodsman. Alright. Center up. Close her off. I hope this is all in the camera here for you. And then cinch them back down. Put her on the side. Not sure if you guys can see that or not, but where it shook it right there on its side. I'm using the Hero 4 today. There's more stuff in there, so hang tight. Thank you, Charlie. That's nice. It's good leather, too. You can smell. I think he said he was a saddle maker for some 40 years or something. But if you've ever been into a leather shop, it smells just like a leather shop. Thank you. Now here's for the one that it caught my eye when I was watching one of his videos. It just popped up. And I was like, I have got to have it. And it didn't. That thing is heavy. Oh yeah. My wife calls it my pocketbook. What you get in the pocketbook for, she said. some nice soft leather pliable two D rings nice hard case cover out of leather some good thick leather some strapper here get the straps out they said he put the straps inside of it I gotta figure this one out I'll figure it out in a minute. I'm not sure what that's for. He's probably laughing right now. I can see it in his eyes when he's watching that. Oh, wait a minute, there's some more stuff in here. I didn't order this. There's something in it. I ain't got it out, but I think I know what it is, guys. I can hear that sound. Yes. So now I have some true flint. Yes. That stuff is sharp. Now I can put some real true flint actually in my kit instead of the chert that I have around here. Thank you, Charlie. I'll have to give my son some of this right here. He's fascinated with rocks. To know that it came from the UK area, he's going to be ecstatic for sure. He, he's various. Uh, it's another story one day I'll tell y'all. He, he's very big into the UK. Thank you. I'm going to put this back inside of it. This is another little cinch style. I didn't order this, but thank you. Um, that was nice of you. I'm still wondering what this thing was. Maybe I'll figure it out in a minute. Cool. Now, here's how this all goes together. D-ring, D-ring, and adjustable strap. There we go. All right. Man, he put some nice buckles on this. detail too. Everything is running straight. This cat's good. I'll put this thing together and you're gonna see it in some videos coming up for sure. It's got a nice deep pocket area. Put a lot of stuff in that.
Here is my mail call, guys. You have to excuse me for a minute. I'm amazed at this. I'm not sure. I could be wrong. But it's not real deer or antler. Um, or did you get it to polish up like that? Because if you did, you owe me some secrets. Because <laughs> that is freaking awesome. I think it's acrylic. I'm not for sure. But it still looks good. Very nice, very nice. Well, Charlie, I appreciate you. I appreciate the first comment that you had made because that's what sent me to this area. And we had talked about Robert at Bluegrass Bushcraft. Um, he had, you had thought that maybe he had sent you over, but he may have, or he may have told me some stuff later on, but I remember watching the video um, you you had just commented on one of my videos so i went back to pay the the respect to you as well and i checked your channel out and i subscribed immediately he's just a great guy um he just he's full of enthusiasm he's full of funniness um he can be serious it's craft work i mean as you guys can see i mean it, it's nice and i'm gonna say i have some other stuff um that I have purchased that I've just not put on video or anything that I just kind of purchased for myself and check this guy here out um, now he may not be Charlie I'm sorry if I'm promoting you and you didn't want to be but um, this guy the work is phenomenal I mean it truly is and what I want to say is the the price is untouchable by anyone and the quality of work from some well-known folks in the YouTube community the quality of work is, is equal if not better at a fraction of the cost and that's the truth of uh, not putting anybody out of business or anything or not trying to do anything of that nature but I know in the bushcraft community there's the need for equipment and gear and the the wants to go out and make our own and stuff but I could not have made this these two items I couldn't have purchased the leather for what I gave for them and that's the truth I appreciate it Charlie I hope you guys enjoyed this didn't want to drag it out for a long time but it was due um, I had to go play that's just all I gotta say well I'll be honest with you I, I can't play I've got two knives to finish up and one's for my final drawing and one is for Robert at Bluegrass Bushcraft drawing. I'm going to try to get them finished up before Sunday so I can have them done. Um, I've made several knives that I just didn't feel and deem as worthy as to do a part of a giveaway so I didn't put those in there or anything like that. I kind of left them but I'm going to put you a link over to his channel um, go check him out tell him that Mike sent you or don't I mean just go check him out you know um, if you're in the leather work and he's available to make the leather craft for you and he wishes to do so hey the tip from your uncle Larry. <laughs> so y'all have a good one and I'll catch you guys on another video